First learned about Tough Met about four years ago as we were digging through some uh, failure mitigation issues that we were having with some deep rot on tubing wear in our Bakken wells. Hess has been running Tough Met couplings for about two and a half years in the Bakken. We started with a 10 well pilot to uh, really go after some, some deviated wells, some really hard to pump high water cut wells. And we've expanded that pilot now to about 40 to 45 wells in the Bakken with the goal of pilot expansion to 250 by Q2 of 2017. So the wells that we have piloted with the tough met couplings here in the Bakken have seen an increased runtime of up, of up to seven months. Typically a Bakken well produces uh, on a cycle of about every 12 to 14 months. And now we're seeing these wells run upwards of 16 to 18 months with these suck rod couplings. Deep rod on tubing wear is our number one cause of failure. And in our trials with these couplings, we've seen a dramatic decrease in wear downhole due to these couplings wearing on the tubing. Not only have we seen production benefits due to increased runtime with the tough mech couplings, but we've also seen some preliminary uh, impacts on day-to-day -day production. With the use of a tough mech coupling, it really covers all quadrants of lean and SQDC. We're making the job safer because we have less exposure. The quality of your well equipment is better over the life of the well. Your delivery is much better. You have reduced deferred production and the cost is, is driving down the, the life cycle cost of these wells. Our biggest asset here at Hess is our people. So we really take pride in in taking uh, every precautionary measure to keep them safe in the field. And by reducing failures, we're therefore reducing our safety exposure. Materion and Hess have really taken a partnership in this goal to reduce failures in the Bakken. And by doing that and coming together as a team, we've created a solution. There hasn't been a really a big change in suck rod lift in over 50 years. And this has really the chance to be a big change. I would say any operator that has any issues with downhole rod on tubing wear should really look at the tough mat coupling application in their well.